Let's talk about another groove you played on the Neville's album, uh, which was uh, Ico Ico Brother John. See, now that groove is, uh, is it's a, more of a street groove, mm -hmm. except for the bass drum. Now, the bass drum was my idea to put a Latin type, Brazilian type bass drum. And on, as I had all this stuff going. Right there is where I used to add a, uh, add a Steve Gadd bass drum turn around, you know, because Steve Gadd thing was like. That was Steve Gadd type mm -hmm. of thing, so I kind of incorporated some of the things he would do on the bass drum in that particular song with that Latin feel. And there again, the percussion is incredible, man. Everybody was playing something. Aaron never overdubbed the bass drum. That huge bass uh -huh. drum sound, you did doom, you know. He dubbed that on top of a tom tom, you know. Lick he puts on the bass uh -huh. drum. Let's talk about that snare drum part. The right hand really intrigues me. That's mm -hmm. kind of, it's kind of shuffle and it's kind of straight. It's that New Orleans in between kind of. It's, it's, yeah, it's in between shuffle and playing eight and playing sixteenth at time. You know, Can you know, you just mix them up. You know, if uh, the left hand basically if it, if you you keep you pretty much keeping a back beat, just that you just adding a couple that rhythm, some rhythm in it. Uh huh. You maybe put playing a four sometimes. Mm -hmm. You know. You know, or, or skip it, like swing it, or alternate it, turn it around backwards, you know. Okay. It's all like a more or less a, a tambourine part. That's what it is. Mm. You know, whenever you play a tambourine, chicka 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 chicka, gospel type rhythm, chicka 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 chicka. And it would kind of like get that little gospel loop between mm. the leg and the hand. Uh -huh. So they were going, you know, hand bone, tap dance, same type of rhythm, you know. You know, and, and uh, with the right hand, you more or less play a flam in unison with the left hand, but just make sure you have the, that flam instead of tight unison choking stick. When you get the flam, mm -hmm. you know, that way you get that churchy type feeling. Like somebody's, like everybody's clapping their hands together, but you still hear that still flam all over the whole good. room, you know, so you, yeah. you know. And then sometimes you can play that on the stick itself, you know. Mm. You know, and just mm -hmm. incorporate it all. Just mix it up, but keep it even, you know, right. where it can gel. Because if you mix it up too much, you know, where the rhythm will fall apart because there's so much rhythm going on. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to, whenever you play those type of New Orleans rhythm, you have to stick to whatever part you're going to play. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to use three parts within the part, you know, you know, you alternate or whatever sequence you're going to play the parts, and you maybe run the sequence backwards or whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. Still, you have to remember those three parts each time. In other words, you'll throw the whole rhythm thing off when everybody's playing something.